Hey Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. All right, let's get started with an Oracle message for Capricorn. What is going on with Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? Let's see. Okay, we have fairy glamour. Okay, you look good. Horse transcendence. Spider deception. Yeah, I was feeling that because I was feeling with uh, fairy glamour. It's like the dust settles with transcendence. I see the fairy dust was put on something and it's finally crashing down. Yeah, with deception. I feel like, okay. Orange Juice Wolf communication. So this could go one of two ways. So there's clearly communication here. No doubt about that. Someone is communicating with you, reaching out to you. I feel like the, either someone's clearly being manipulative and deceptive with very glamour. That's a manipulation. We all know what glamour spells is. If you don't, you know, look at a glamour spell is basically just making something look nice. Making something, it's like the seven of cups, confusion, illusion. And with transcendence, I feel like you are transcending a situation. Instead of making it look nice in your mind, you're not deceiving yourself anymore. Also, instead of allowing someone to make it seem nice in your mind, you're not allowing them to deceive you. So you're not deceiving yourself and you're not allowing anyone to do that to you. And I feel like either you're communicating this or someone's communicating this with you. Let's get into the tarot. And see for Capricorn. A message for Capricorn. I mean, it's good that you're able to like get a balance on the situation. I feel like, yeah, the, the dust is clearing, all the smoke and mirrors is falling down. Yeah, the three of pentacles, nine of pentacles, the world card, and the seven of stars. God damn it. I was like, yes, it's going good. Seven of swords, lying, cheating, stealing, deception. But with the world card, it's done. It's over permanently. Now, the world card, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, ORNG is the five of cups, past disappointments. Don't sit around beating yourself up. I don't care if someone else tried to uh, manipulate you or you were manipulating yourself or lying, cheating, stealing, lying, hiding from yourself. Doesn't matter who was deceptive. You know the truth now. So don't beat yourself up. Because, yeah, with the Spire Deception and Seven of Swords and Fairy Glamour and, and Communication, I feel like someone was, again, manipulating you or you were being delusional or maybe both, you know? Because I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, I feel like you're doing good on your own. Things are working out for you. Nine of Pentacles, uh, financially stable, independent, single, solid, stable, and abundant. And that's working out for you because you're closing the cycle on manipulation, lying, cheating, stealing. I also feel like, okay, because I'm getting like, I, I just get that someone was stealing from you. <laughs> you know, we're trying to act like they're working with you and they're really not. Also, I could get that um, for some of you here, you either put a stop to someone doing this to you, you separate it, and thus you got the Nine of Pentacles. But I'm also getting that maybe someone thought that someone was lying, cheating, stealing from them and they really weren't. But with that Seven of Swords, that is very intentional deception and manipulation like someone could have been lying to themselves or lying to someone else about how good they were actually doing so let's clarify clarify this message for capricorn clarify this message for capricorn i'm seeing this as financial with all the pinnacles but put it where it goes for you
And as I'm shuffling, the Nine of Pentacles. So I'm gonna cut the deck here. You get justice, okay. So I was trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. And this is also, of course, Libra energy. But I feel like someone was taking advantage of you financially, but let me see. Clarifying the Three of Pentacles is the Queen of Wands, so Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Moon card, Pisces. So yeah, there's a Fire Sign secretly working with someone or making you think they were working with you. Because with the Moon card, of course that goes right underneath fairy, glamour, delusion, things hidden beneath the surface think someone's working with you and they're really not this is like someone lying and saying they've been paying something when they really haven't um working with you when they're really using you you know making you think they're working with you when they're really not or they're secretly working with someone else it's one of those two clarifying the nine of wands is the two of wands so you have a choice here of course and the page of wands yeah this is them reaching out to you trying to communicate with you so they're saying that they want to work with you or they want to be a secret partner with you, whether that be work or love. This is gonna, this is definitely a booty call. This person's cheating on someone with trying to cheat on someone with you. Clarifying the world card is the sun. Yeah, you know. You know either someone's using you for money, acting like they want to work it out, they're really using you for money. This person is not single. This could be a Leo with the sun card. Yeah, you're closing a cycle on a Leo or someone trying to use you. King of Pentacles, yeah, you're done. You're not allowing someone to use you. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could just be someone you find attractive physically. Clarifying the seven of swords is the world card again. And the two of cups. Yeah, you're like, nah. People get caught up in that soulmate shit. Just because someone is your quote unquote soulmate. Some, sometimes it could just be karmic and someone's pretending to be a soulmate. But a lot of times soulmates are just lessons. Not people that are meant to spend in, you know, the rest of the time in your life. These, they're usually lessons. And we over energy is justice. Yeah, you get justice for this legally. Because I feel like someone has been taking advantage of you either, of course, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, or financially. I'm getting definitely financially, but also spiritually here. Because I feel like this person, they use sex to get money from you. It's like, yeah, they act like they're all into you and they sleep with you, then they ask you for money. Or they just like the idea of sleeping with someone who's wealthy. They lie to you and act like you're their soulmate or that there's no one else, but really they're, they're soulmate is somebody else. I feel like someone lied to you and told you they were your soulmate or you were their soulmate. Or they just, they either deceive themselves or you allow them, you know, I'm not saying you allow them to deceive you, but maybe you kind of knew this person was deceptive, especially if they come and go out of your life or some, you knew they were hiding something. But I'm not placing, I'm not placing any blame on you. But I think some, I, I will say for certainty, this person is doing this on purpose. With the moon card and the seven of swords and deception, this is someone who's calculated, was purposefully hiding this and using you. And I don't think you should beat yourself up over that. Again, that's what I said at the beginning with the five of cups, I feel like you're beating yourself up over this and there's no need, you are getting justice you are the nine of pentacles and everything is going to work out for you and you're permanently closing a cycle on this person and anyone else who tries to take advantage of you in this way use you that's not happening again and i love that the king of pentacles your card is with the sun clarifying the world you see it clearly now your eyes are open and you're done and i like that you immediately open your eyes see the situation and it's done it's over immediately and you are getting, you're going to get justice for that. And this is justice, seeing it clearly so they can't do this to you anymore. Yeah, it's just a karmic cycle with the Wheel of Fortune right behind the Five of Cups. Then the Ten of Swords, the worst part of a situation is over. And then right behind that is the Six of Swords, letting it go. So it's like a, it stings really bad, but I see you letting it go fairly quickly. A lot quicker than you believe you are. Yeah, and then right behind this is Justice. We have the Queen of Swords. It could have been a Libra, like I said, or someone who has Libra highly aspected in their chart. Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, stealing, the Emperor, Aries. I feel like, again, they were using you financially or because of your status, they like sleeping with you for the wrong reasons and taking from you. But they were never committal. Yeah, they drained you of your... Uh, 
they drained you of your finances and they slept with you for your status and your money. And they use their beauty to do that with the fairy glamour. They act like they were your friend. If it's not a sexual relationship, they act like they were your friend. Yeah, they made something look good, like they were working with you. They really weren't. They were taking advantage of you. And I feel like they're going to reach out. And something in their communication with you is going to make you realize with the page of wands. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.